بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے لیکچر از اباؤٹ ڈائبٹیز اینڈ وارننگ اسکن سائن ڈائبٹیز کین افیکٹ مینی پارٹ آف دا باڈی انکلوڈنگ اسکن اسکن چینجز آر ون آف دا موسٹ کامن سائن آف ڈائبٹیز وین ڈائبٹیز افیکٹ اسکن اٹس اوپن اے سائن دیٹ دا بلڈ شوگر لیول آر ٹو ہائی اور ٹائم سم اسکن چینجز کین اپیئر وین بفور ڈائگنوسس آف ڈائبٹیز Other could be a sign that diabetes treatment need to be adjusted. 12 warning sign that appear on skin in diabetes. The first one is necrobiosis lipodica. Necrobiosis lipodica are yellow, reddish or brown patches on skin. This skin condition often begins a small reddish solid bump that look like pimples. As it progresses, these bumps turn into patches of swollen and hard skin. The patches can be yellow, reddish or brown. But if it does develop, it can be itchy and painful. dark area of skin that feel like velvet a dark patch or band velvety skin on the back of neck armpit groin or elsewhere could means that have too much insulin in body this is often a sign of pre diabetes the medical name of this skin condition is acanthosis nigricans it is a sign of insulin resistance and can be a sign of pre diabetic or type 2 diabetes it is common in people who have obesity the most effective treatment is to address the root cause like obesity or insulin resistance lifestyle change such as Being physically active and maintaining a healthy weight can help reverse insulin resistance. Digital sclerosis. When this develops on the finger, toes or both, the medical name of this condition is digital sclerosis. This condition starts with tight, thick, waxy skin on finger and can cause finger joint to become sore. stiff and hard to move if blood sugar levels remain high digital sclerosis can cause skin to become hard thick and swollen and can spread throughout body this condition is more common in people with type 1 diabetes who have high blood glucose the only treatment of digital sclerosis is to bring blood sugar level down into the normal range physical therapy may help improve the range of motion of affected joints hard thick and swollen look looking skin can spread appearing on the forearm and upper arms it can also develop on the upper back shoulder and neck sometimes the thickening skin spreads to the face shoulder and chest in rare cases the skin or the knee ankle or elbow also thickens making it difficult to straighten leg point foot or bent arm whenever it appears the thickened skin often has the texture of an orange peel this skin problem usually develop in people who have complication due to diabetes or diabetes that is difficult to treat acanthosis nigra can you can see this obese person has a dark band or dark scar on his neck and in an other condition there is a dry skin on the sole and cracking toes blisters it's rare but people with diabetes can see blisters suddenly appear on their skin the blister tend to form on the hands feet leg or forearm and look like the blister that appear after a serious burn unlike the blister they develop after a burn these blisters are not painful The medical name of this condition is bullosis diabeticorum. Sometimes it's called diabetic bully. Skin bacterial and fungal infection. People who have diabetes tend to get skin infection. The skin is hard, swollen and painful. Common bacterial infection include those on the eyelid, hair follicle and fingernail. 
an itchy rash and sometimes thinny blister, dry scaly skin or a white discharge that look like cottage cheese. A skin infection can occur on any area of body including between toes around one or more of nail and on scale. Fungal infection create itchy rash surrounding by thinny red blister and scales. They usually develop in warm moist pore of the skin. Common fungal infection include jog itch, athlete's foot, ringworm and vaginal infection open sore and wounds having high blood sugar or glucose for a long time can lead to poor circulation and nerve damage develop these if uncontrolled or poorly controlled diabetes for a long time it can develop poor circulation and nerve damage can make it hard for body to heal wounds this is especially true on the feet this open wound are called diabetic ulcer shine spots this skin condition cause spots and sometimes lines that create a barely noticeable depression in the skin the medical name is diabetic dermopathy it usually form on the shine in rare cases seen on the arm thigh trunk or other area of the body the spots are often brown and cause no symptoms for these reasons many people mistake these for age spots. Unlike age spot, these spots and lines usually start to fade after 18 to 24 months. Diabetic dermopathy can also stay on skin independently. Reptiozanthomatosis. This bump appears suddenly and clear promptly when diabetes is well controlled. When these bumps appear, they often look like pimples. Unlike pimple, they soon develop yellowish color, occur on the buttock high groups of the elbow or back of the knee. They can occur anywhere on skin. They are usually tender and itchy. Granuloma annulari. This skin condition causes bump and patches that may be skin color red, pink or bluish purple. Extremely dry itchy skin. High blood sugar glucose can cause this. A skin infection or poor circulation. These could also contribute to dry itchy skin. Yellowish scaly patches on on and around eyelid. These develop due to high fat level in blood. It is flat or slightly raised yellowish growth on or around the eyelid. The deposits aren't harmful or painful, but they could signal uncontrolled diabetes, high cholesterol or other health problem. It can also be a sign if diabetes is poorly controlled. The medical lamp for this condition is denthilazine. Skin tag. Many people have skin tag hang from a stalk. While harmless, having numerous skin tag may be a sign of too much insulin in blood or type 2 diabetes. These growth are most common on the eyelid, neck, armpit and groin. Vitiligo. It is more common in type 1 diabetes but those with type 2 also can get it. It is not clear why vitiligo develop in diabetic patient. Vitiligo destroys cell that normally color skin with pigment. Melanin. It usually affects chest, belly and back but sometime happen on the face as well. Vitiligo may be treated with medicated cream, ultraviolet light and even surgery. Use sunscreen to protect the affected skin patches. Thank you. Please subscribe the channel and down the bell icon for notification and write down your valuable comment in the comment box for improvement of the channel.